Hi, I am Alex and welcome to my vlog where I practice my English. Today I'm going to tell you a short story about how I started learning English. The thing is, I have tried learning English many times. I studied English in school, college, different courses, but I failed over and over again. Finally, about three years ago, I decided to change my approach to learning English. I said to myself, Alex, there is no the only one right way to learning English. Stop looking for the best and the easiest way. Just choose one and don't stop until you get to the end. And I started with uh, I started by listening to dialogues. Let me give you an example. Oh, stop it! You know I'm ticklish. I know, sweetie pie. What is that? It's a new tattoo. It's a portrait. It is John Lennon. I see. You see what? I love John Lennon. All you need is love. I know. Love, sweet love, and nothing else. Yes, food. I'm so hungry. I can eat a horse. Look in the fridge. Where? In the refrigerator? Where else? Okay, in the fridge. But you've got... you've got only beer and ketchup in there. Yes, I know. But all you need is love, right? You. I hate you. That's what it looked like. I listened to a dialogue a few days and tried to understand every word. My task was not to understand the meaning, but to divide the sentences into separate words. The method has a condition. You have to listen to a dialogue a few days before you read the text of that dialogue. After listening, I tried, I started repeat the dialogue aloud, checking myself with the, the printed text. I spent about six months on all dialogues. My next step was the grammar. I found uh, a textbook from my old English classes I have attended. And again, I stuck with the grammar book until I finished it. After that, I began looking for a, a language exchange partner on the internet. And I got lucky. I found a mentor. I used to think it's impossible only in books. My mentor's name is Gary and he's from Greece. He's an awesome guy and he helped me to start speak English. I really appreciate him. Uh, if it weren't for him, I would have made much less progress in my spoken English. We talk to each other on Skype every weekend, almost a year. Thank you, Gary. Speaking of Gary, I should mention another great guy. His name Dmitri. He is Russian and lives in Chebaksari. He didn't teach me English, but he introduced me to Gary. Thank you, Dima. To recap, my approach is not the only way to start learning English. But I ha I get a good lesson. Stick to the plan and you will be fine. And if somebody or something tells you to change your mind, just say to yourself. Stick to the fucking plan! Come on! That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Maybe... Someday I'll share with you how I am learning English now. Take care. Bye.